Alrighty, guys, the table below shows the Bloodstock and South Africa National uh, um, Blood Services. That's SANBS um, at a, a certain date of different blood groups. Now, okay, look at the blood groups here. We've got blood group A, AB, O, and we have um, B. All right, now, please remember that O is called a universal donor. That's because everyone, A, A, B, and B, can all accept blood from O. All right, because it's recessive. And A, B is called the universal um, recipient. And the reason for that is because if it, it, A, B can accept blood from A, can accept blood from O, and can accept blood from B. Alrighty, now, questions. Which blood, group, which blood type has the lowest number of days stock? Well, all you have to do is look at this graph. Uh, 2.5 is less than 2.7, so it is blood group O. State one possible reason why the uh, um, stock of blood type is lower than um, other blood types. Well, clearly because O is the universal donor. Um, everyone can use blood group O, and that's why it probably is the lowest in the stock. Okay, then it says, SANBS needs an eight-day supply of blood at all times. Just one reason why there's a shortage of donated blood in South Africa. Well, I can tell you now that it, it's... it's people's beliefs because people it's either religious beliefs or it's the belief that it hurts and I'm scared and it's the fear so people don't do it for that also we are a country with a lot of people that have blood diseases for example hepatitis uh, um, uh, uh, HIV um, TB which is carried in the blood so the, the, you cannot donate blood all right, and then it says, Sara is a child who is blood group B. All right, so let's just zap down here. So Sara, and she has a child, and that child is blood group B, okay? Um, now, this B can either be or, okay, so heterozygous B or homozygous B. Let's just quickly do this here. For blood group A, we have A, A, or A, and that's for the O, so it's recessive. So either homo or hetero. Then for A, B, well, that's easy. That's it. And then O is, and B Or it can be, and it will still end up being called blood group B. Okay, so Sarah has a child that is blood group B. Now there are two men that are claiming paternity. All right, we've got Paul. He's blood group O. Okay, and we have James, and he is blood group AB. All right, so Sarah's blood group, her blood group is heterozygous A. All right, so let's have a look here. Let's just extend this page a bit. So what are we looking at? The child is either that or that. Paul is going to be, so he's out of the question, because where did the B come from? Because Sarah is going to be heterozygous A, which means she is. So it can only be James, who is AB, so he's going to be. So they ask here, use a genetic cross to show why James is the father of the child. Shame, Paul can't be the father of the child because look at what the child is. Where did the B come from? The B could only have come from James. So let's do our cross. Okay, 
Doing our genetic cross, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say P1, because there's half a mark, and we do the phenotype, what we see. And what are we going to see? We're going to have James times Sarah. Or we could have had Sarah times James. Genotype. People, you've got to know how to write these out. Okay, you must know the format. The format is very important. All right, so James. Okay, so James is A, B. And Sarah is heterozygous A, which means she has the gene for blood group O. Now meiosis takes place. And we have our... Okay, gametes. And we have um, A... And B, remember, the gametes for a trait separate, the alleles separate out, and each gamete will have one allele. So here we have A, A, here we have A and B, here we have A and I, and here we have B and I, and here is our little child. Okay. Um, and that's it. And what's it say? What is the genotype of the... Okay, so we've done the cross. We haven't finished, so let's quickly finish. We say F1, which gives us another half a mark. Okay. Oh, my fertilization. There's fertilization. And for F1, we start with the genotype. We're going to have one... I'm going to write this shorter. So, okay, you're going to know what I'm saying here. So we'll have 1A, 2, 1AB, 2, 1, sorry, 1A, 2, 1, no, 2As, 2, 1AB, 2, 1B. There we go. And the phenotype of the child the phenotype is going to be um, oh man, that is the phenotype. See, I'm trying to hurry here. Genotype, and we're not going to, and, and the genotype, and the genotype is going to be one of the child will be one, okay, there's our B, and there's our genotype, all right, 